Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Red Flamethrower, also known as JDRFT, and welcome back to another pretty crazy video. Today we are back and better than ever. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna be explaining how my year was of 2019. And holy shit, guys. What a year. What a bro, so much shit has went down this year. Bro, I have a lot to talk about though. Like I got a list right here to talk about like everything that's happened through my entire year. And honestly, 2019 was actually it's one hell of a ride. It was good, but it was bad. But mostly it was like in between. Mostly on the good side, uh, for me at least. Um, I don't I don't really know. I, I, I don't know what to say to be honest. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Alright. Let's get started though. So basically guys, I'm gonna have a timestamp of different things I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So I'm just gonna have a list of different times. If you wanna skip to a specific thing, you can skip to it. Or if you wanna watch the entire thing or skip a couple things and watch a few, then do as you please. This video is just gonna be decently long. Hopefully you guys don't get bored, but I'm gonna be explaining everything that's went down in my year. Hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get right into the video, mate. Okay, so the first topic we're going to be talking about is video games and social media. So for video games, a lot of great games came out in 2019. You got Control, Death Stranding, The Outer Worlds, and many more games that came out on other different consoles. Not to mention the other different games that came out in the past decade that were absolutely amazing like GTA V, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Red Dead Redemption, Batman, Elder Scrolls, Last of Us, it, and honestly, the list just keeps on going on and on, and definitely hands down, 2010 to 2019 had to have the best games in the decade. So the start of 2019 for gaming, honestly, it was okay. I started getting into Fortnite a lot, so that made me want to join a Fortnite clan. And my first ever Fortnite clan was actually Chaos Clan, if you guys didn't know. Uh, I joined for about a month. Honestly, I didn't really click with the people, and I didn't really enjoy it as much, so I left. Then I joined a team called Team Vanish, which you guys obviously know as Team Aware now. And at that point, I never really knew that the team would have got so big. I joined around 370 subscribers. That was great because then I saw the growth of the channel. I originally joined as a player, but then later got promoted as a manager and content creator. And honestly, that was the best time of my life because I was having so much fun meeting new people, getting new experience on how to get better at Fortnite. And honestly, I was just, I was learning a lot. I stayed on the team from March all the way to July, and then I was let go in August due to certain reasons, and I do not hold a grudge against them at all, because they are still family to me, and I still love them for helping me out with my YouTube channel. So thank you so much, Teamware. And obviously, you guys probably know, I tried to start my own team called Team Inferno. That didn't really go well, and then I got rebranded to Team Aura, and currently now, the owner is Adam. If you guys want to try to join, just hit him up or hit me up, and I'll try to help you guys. So yeah. Then afterwards, I just got really bored of Fortnite, because... I was just not having as much fun as I did before. I left and I started playing more with my IRL friends, which is probably the greatest decision of my life because we started playing Minecraft and GTA 5 and a bunch of different games. And honestly, I really enjoy where I am right now. For the social media aspect of 2019, I would say streaming was definitely becoming more of a mainstream thing. Mixer was becoming the new popular platform other than Twitch. Big streamers like Ninja, Shroud, and Ewok came over from Twitch to go to Mixer so they could start a new and grow a fanbase there. There is also another really big social media platform that became popular in 2019. You guys obviously know it, and that's TikTok. All you see on that freaking platform is Renegade, 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 and just a bunch of crazy dances. They have a lot of skits, a lot of tutorials, and this is basically the 2019 version of Vine. Um, and honestly, I would say it's better. It has a lot of content to offer, and it never really gets boring. And that's how video games and social media are for 2019. Now let's move on to our next topic, anime. Okay, that's how you feeling. That's how you feeling. That's how you feeling. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, yo, you got drip. You got drip. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. That's how you feeling. That's how you feeling. That's how you feeling. Yo, that's sicko mode. He going sicko mode. <laughs> Okay, okay, before you click off this video, I know all the people here are the people who are open-minded or actually really like anime. And I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna talk a hell of a lot of anime right now because this was a big part of my 2019. So for all the people who actually do wanna try to watch anime, please stay and just watch so then you can just see if you like it or not. 
But for the past decade, I could say that at least anime has helped me with a lot of things in my life, getting through different problems, different things, and it taught me a lot of life lessons. It inspired me to be a better person and motivated me to follow my dreams. Now, I know that's really cliche, but I know a lot of people could agree with me on this. My two personal animes that motivate me a lot is Boku no Hero and Naruto just because they always try to tell you to follow your dreams and be a better person than who you were yesterday. So hopefully that really hooked the people who don't watch anime. If you guys want to try anime, start watching Demon Slayer first. That's my recommended number one anime to watch. You won't regret it. I, I'm just saying that. Now to move on to my 2019 experience of anime, holy shit, it was amazing. Boku no Hero came out, Attack on Titan came out, Demon Slayer came out, Fire Force came out, I watched Naruto, I watched Baruto, The Promised Neverland, Mob Psycho, Vinland Saga, and the list just keeps on going on and on and on for the amount of animes that came out in 2019. From different storylines that are really in-depth, to the hardworking and expressive acting, to every single small detail that the animators put into animation, I would definitely have to say that 2019 had the best animes to offer. Demon Slayer is the number one best anime at the moment, and personally, it is my favorite anime at the moment with its animation, the story, the acting, just everything about it is just amazing. So that's gonna have to wrap up my 2019 experience for anime. So for the people who don't like anime or who want to get an anime, please try it because you never know if you will like it. And trust me, if you do like it, you will be in for a ride. So that's gonna be anime. Let's move on to the last topic, my life. Now finally on to the last topic, it's going to be on my life. Now I'm just going to say that there was a lot of things that happened in my life in the past couple of months. About a year ago, a video that's similar to this was my 2018 video and I did say I wanted to upload way more in 2019 and I really did. I uploaded way more videos in 2019 than in 2018 and I actually feel like I reached that goal. I didn't really gain as many subscribers that I wished I wanted to. I wanted to try to hit a thousand subscribers but I only got up to 500 at the end of the year but honestly i am totally fine with that and for school wise uh, <laughs> yeah about that so my grade 10 second semester i had gym first period english second drama third and math fourth holy crap i almost failed that class anyways moving on to grade 11 i have math first drama second computer science third and fitness fourth and honestly i don't mind those classes because i'm doing decent so i would definitely say that this year is definitely better than my grade 10 year and also i have to kind of start thinking about university and college so that's kind of sucky but we'll get through it i would also say that i experienced a lot of different things this year I went to my first ever Logic concert, I went to three different countries in Asia, Philippines, Vietnam, and Cambodia, and I also met up with really old family, friends, and caught up with life. I also started focusing on more things that I'm really passionate about and what I really love to do, which is YouTube. And it took me a little bit of time to realize that. I noticed that when I tried to learn a new hobby, I would usually just get bored of it really easily. But just something about YouTube and content creation and making people happy and inspiring them just really kind of draws me back to YouTube. I genuinely really enjoy making videos because I know at the very end of the day, people are going to be happy because of it. And that's what really drives me and motivates me to make even more YouTube videos. And funny enough, I actually started getting into TikTok, dance, sing k-pop and the ukulele so i could say i started becoming a more artsy person and i would definitely love to grow and improve with those different passions so that's going to be the very last topic of the video let's move on to the conclusion So guys, this is going to be the conclusion of the video. So I just want to say a quick word before I end it off completely. So 2019, I would have to say, was a huge emotional train fucking wreck, man. There was a lot of ups, there was a lot of downs, but most importantly, I do think that 2019 was actually a really good experience for not me, but for my friends and everybody in my life. I feel like I've learned a lot of different things in just a couple of months, and I've met so many new people that I could really call my close friends. And honestly, I would never trade anything in the world for the position I am in right now because I feel very blessed. I feel very happy with how I am right now. I want to experience and learn and understand more things. And I just want to focus more on myself in 2020 and actually help other people grow in 2020 and not just do nothing. I want to just keep on crushing my goals like i want to get my driver's license i want to get a job i want to work out i want to just do all these different things in 2020 and try to be better than how i was yesterday through 2019 i would definitely say i improved as a person by a lot i am more social than i was before i'm definitely more positive because i used to be 
you know, very negative, and now I am very open-minded to new things. So guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Overall, 2019 was actually a great year for me, and I really thank you guys so much for helping me and supporting my YouTube channel. So guys, I really hope you guys follow your dreams. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the New Year's. Peace.